Hi friends, this is Drishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna teach you about text boxes, radio buttons, check boxes, and a drop down select list in HTML. So, firstly, we will begin with text box. How to make a text box in HTML? So, firstly, I'll type input type equal to text, and I will close it using a forward slash, and uh, if I'll refresh it. Now you can see a text box is displayed on our screen. So now I want to make a button. So I will enter input type equal to button. And uh, if I will not give a value to it, then it will be a blank. So I have to give it uh, give a value to it. So I will give a value of show. Now you can see show button is displayed. Now I will add to br text two line breaks I'll talk about radio buttons so I will type input type equal to radio and uh, and I will give a value of mail so I have to refresh it now you can see mail input type equal to radio and uh, I will give a value of female so suppose we are making any form so we have to select between one bit. now both one are selected so if we want to select just one between them now we have to give the same name to the both so I will enter gender and I will copy it and you can use any name I am using gender because it's about male and female so now you can see you can select only one now guys after this I will talk about checkboxes so for this I will enter input type equal to checkbox and I will close it like uh, guys you know that checkboxes are used to select multiple type, multiple items but radio buttons are used to select one items between many items so we can select many items means we have I am giving this value of one I will copy it Three, two. If I'll refresh it now. You can see I can select all the values. Now, guys, I will talk about drop down select list. For this, select tag is used. In between select tag, we will use options which we want to display. I can say option one. I'll copy it. If I'll refresh it, now you can see a option drop down select option uh, select list has been displayed, and we can select option. So enough for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's see you in the next tutorial.